wait for him to eat his words. This is how not to make the perfect deviled egg right here. My fun thing that I'm doing for the kids I've never done before. You've made it this far, you can't stop now. This last clue will take you to one final wow. <laughs> Cheers. Alrighty y'all, we have a cool windy day. That's what we have. Um, just finished up school with the children, heading to the barn. We also have had a, we've had a lot of wind the last few days and we've got some really big trees down. One broke two posts and a fence. So we gotta fix that today. <laughs> and um, so anyway, gonna go see what's going on. See how I can help. Bonnie's helping too. Right, girl? Do you hear me? Okay. Barley's looking so good. until he gets it all moved out. That wind is making it feel colder than it is, but it's in the 50s. And since it's been in the 80s, it feels colder than it would have a few weeks ago, I think. A little dusty. Two posts, top wire. <laughs> Here comes Panda. <laughs> Here comes everybody. What y'all got? Feed? No. So silly. on Instagram. She licked her. Bonnie said, please get away. Look. Panda said, no, come back, little doll. Come back, little doll. 
That's funny. What'd you say? Y'all got your fence up yet? <laughs> I done drove the post by you. <laughs> got them going now. They're stuck. We left home without a crawl. 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 So fun crawl. to say. Crawl. crawl and crawl. Crawl. Crawl all. Say that five times fast. What? Crawl, 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 crawl. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oh, one more. I ain't gonna hit your hand, but do it be an accident. <laughs> oh God. Don't be scared. I promise, I ain't gonna hit your hand. But do it be an accident. <laughs> Folks, over 60 years old right there. 60 years old. Staples didn't want to come out. They've done their job then. <laughs> Panda is obsessed with Bonnie. You don't want to get shut in there? No. <laughs> All right, there's one. Up and running. come through this gate and they're having a fit like they want to go somewhere else you've got nothing but grass out there silly girls yeah hey y'all well it is the beginning of Easter weekend and it's going to be a very different Easter weekend than I've ever had than most of us have ever had the first time in 40 one and a half years that I have not been with my family, with my dad and my brother. Um, so yeah, a little heart heavy about that, but we're going to make the best of it here with our little family on the farm. And uh, I cooked up 
some link sausage this morning and I just really quick want to share that with y'all. The trifecta of breakfast is, okay? Here you go. This y'all, sausage, white bread and mustard. Uh, if you've never done that, made that combination, you're missing out on life. And I just wanted to take this opportunity and share that very important PSA. Okay, now we're going to get on with our day. Cheers. Okay, video is loaded. Got trash back there. That was in the back of my truck. That was going to blow out. Anywho. All right, I found a I found a place in town with a little bit faster service, so that's good. It only took forty minutes, forty five minutes instead of three hours. We're going places, y'all. All right, now I'm going to the local a local tractor dealership, um, where there is someone selling fresh vegetables by the box. So I'm going to get a box of fresh veggies to be able to cook for Easter. It makes my heart happy. Okay, so I think it's probably like a little drive through thing. We'll find out. Anyway, we're going to do that and then we're going home. We're going to see what we can get into on the farm. It's cool, but it's sunny. And I'm quite sure there's things to be done. <laughs> All right. There he is. I see him sitting right there. <laughs> Good deal. All right, I'm here with Tyler. Hey. <laughs> and you're kind of, you're what, semi-local? I'm semi-local. Y'all are in uh, We're in Oxford, Oxford right Oxford. now, and uh, I go out and help the boys in Iowa, so I'm back and forth, but I'm here for the summer. Yeah? And awesome. I'm selling produce boxes for $20 a box, along with some watermelons and maybe cantaloupes. Yeah, so he said he's getting the produce from the North Carolina Farmer's Market. Yep, it's coming out of Florida and Georgia, and as the year goes on, I'm going to grow a lot of it on my own farm. Awesome. Well, I'll spread the word here. I'll spread the word on Facebook, local, try yeah. to get you some business. Thank you. I'm excited to have fresh fresh veggies for Easter. Yep. Yay! All Thank right. you. I hope you and yours have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Home again, home again. Um, I was just thinking when I was pulling down the drive how uh, this morning, excuse me, this morning I woke up kind of in a funk. Yeah, thinking about Easter and not being able to be with my extended family, like always. <laughs> and uh, how perspective can change things. And I am just determined to make this a great weekend with our family not forget the reason for the celebration of Easter. Um, hope is not not quarantined. It's not dead. It's alive in Jesus. And we are going to celebrate with our little family. I have something exciting planned for the kids that I'm going to take y'all along for. I think we'll do it tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm looking forward to cooking a big meal all by myself. Usually I only have to take a couple things, but I'm going to try to do it all and make it special. And um, it's still going to be a good weekend with family. Just not as not as many as usual. Uh, just will make that time all the more sweet when we can all be reunited again. And I know everyone out there understands and feels the same. So you're not alone. Know that. You're not alone. Austin's gonna unbox our veggies while I eat cheese. Yes. Ta da! Red taters, some tomatoes, hey, that's a big orange. An orange, squashes, corn. corn, your favorite, good old sweet taters, fresh green beans. All right, you're looking at lunch. That's what you're looking at for Easter. Yay! Mm-hmm. There's a lesson in snapping beans. No, you snap the ends off, and then you can break them in half. Put the ends in the box and throw them away. Yeah. I've done many of these over the years. Um, 
I was very skeptical about getting a watermelon in what month is this? April? Yeah. I was very skeptical. Um, typically, I just, I don't buy watermelons out of season because they don't usually taste good. Lawrence, when I walked in with the watermelon, said there's no way that thing is going to taste good. Y'all, it's good. It's sweet. It's really sweet. And I can't wait for him to eat his words. Okay, so my fun thing that I'm doing for the kids I've never done before, they usually, we usually had Easter eggs at my dad's house. Yeah, that's a very Eastery thing to do. But this year, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. We are going to do a scavenger hunt. I am not that creative. But one of my friends on Instagram, Sherry, who lives up in Canada, um, did this and I saw where she did it and I contacted her and she told me how she did it and I think it's a great idea. So I spent some time this morning and came up with clues and I put them, I typed them up and put them in little baggies and each clue will take them to another place on the farm and in the end they'll end up Hold on. and they're going to end up here in Papa's old truck with their loot, with their loot. Yeah. Huh. I'm so excited. This is going to be good. This is going to be good, isn't it, Bonnie? Isn't this going to be good, Bonnie? Are you excited? Uh-huh. Tell everybody you got a new collar today. Yeah, remember, Bonnie? Why are you groaning? She kept losing her collar, so Austin and Lawrence went to the feed supply store, and they got her a brand new bright yellow one. So hopefully, even if it does come off, we'll still be able to find it. Is it really that rough of a life? Really? Okay. Anywho, I think it's pretty. <laughs> okay, stop number two. The kids' playhouse. I got these things all out of order. But I was smart enough to label them. And there's eight, so this should be number number seven. See, like this is an example. This clue, this clue takes them to the last place. It says, "You've made it." Oh, and I made them rhyme because I have a thing for rhymes. You've made it this far. You can't stop now. This last clue will take you to one final wow. <laughs> Head down the dirt road and around a bend. You'll find your clue waiting where many a mile Papa would spend. See what I did there? Okay, I'm super excited about this, and I hope that they like it as much as I do. And if they don't, well, too bad. So sad. Here we are at the clubhouse. I said playhouse. I meant clubhouse. Since, since this is already here, I'm just going to hang it like that. Wesley, Austin, and David. That's the neighbor. Clubhouse. Okay. That should stay, I think. It's a little windy. There. Okay. Right now, putting one in the old house. And this one will send them, send them to, oh, bird, bird. All right, where are we gonna put this one? I'm gonna hang it somewhere. Um, I don't know. I want to put it where they'll see it. Yep. I don't know. I'll put it up here. Oh. Yeah. There. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Totally findable. <laughs> what are you doing? Load shaft and bushings. Mm. You might think I would try to make something very delicious and homemade for Easter dessert. Mm -mm. I'm going with a box. <laughs> going with a box this year. We're going to do a super moist strawberry cake mix and store-bought cream cheese icing because I don't have any cream cheese, so... I bet it'll still be good, though. What do you think? 
I'm only nine and I make cakes that are good. You're only nine and you make cakes that are good? That's not what I asked. Do you think this will be good? Yes. Yes. Especially strawberry mix. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be fine. It's just what I feel like doing. I don't know. I just had a hankering for strawberry. Hankering for strawberry. <laughs> I had a hankering. I had a hankering for it. So, that's what we're going to do. There's this awesome strawberry cake that um, I've made before. My cousin makes it a lot. You like poke holes in it and you puree strawberries and pour it in there. But I don't have any frozen strawberries either. So anyway, that's what we're going with. It'll be sweet. It'll be something sweet. Maybe not quite as sweet as you, but pretty sweet. <laughs> One more. Okay. It already smells good. Let it do the work. It does already smell good, doesn't it? <laughs> And that was easy. <laughs> I'm going to miss all my family's good desserts. But this will be good too. One not nearly homemade strawberry cake is done. We'll ice that bad boy later. There's just so much going on today, y'all. The cake. I I'm trying to make buns. We'll see how that goes. That'll be on my other channel. And um, these things have been sitting for a while. So here's hoping they crack well. Let's see. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This egg is a little deformed, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect. And, uh, this is, this isn't going very well. Okay, scratch that. That is, this is how not to make the perfect deviled egg right here. I think I'm just going to scratch this one. I'm just going to put some musket powder and eat it. That's what I'm going to do. It's like bunny ears. <laughs> the yolks aren't like right in the middle. The yolks are, it's real thin. Whatever. It's all good. My family doesn't care. They'll eat them. It's more of an issue with the yolk. <laughs> oh no. This is what we're doing. All right, Doe. I'm done listening to you. These are gonna be the most beautiful deviled eggs ever. What do you think? Did you look at them? <laughs> <laughs> Had a few issues. Okay, I'm, I'm just going with this, y'all. I put some musket powder. I'm getting ready to eat that because my stomach just told me I didn't have any lunch. And I've got I've got more than we need. So anyway, um, yeah. These are not gonna be very pretty, but what I've done is taken out the insides. That's the insides right there, and I'm gonna mash them up with a few ingredients that I always use. And and I'm actually watching Cowboy Kent. I was watching Cowboy Kent do his eggs, and what I should have done was watch Cowboy Kent before I did mine, okay? I should have done that. He did things a little bit, I'm wearing some dough flour. He, um, he did things a little bit different, but it's all good. It's all going to be fine. Um, yeah, we do both agree on Duke's and relish and mustard, which is basically all I ever put in mind too. Duke's mayonnaise. Um, but yeah, these are not going to be award winners for, um, for looks anyway. Hopefully they're going to taste okay though. My family is used to this stuff. It's all, it's all good. All right, this is what Kent did. This is what I usually do too. I use a fork, mash it up, and then we're gonna put some Dukes. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? You already know what I'm gonna add. I'm gonna try it, yes I am. Okay, now I've put about that much and that much and that much of mayonnaise, <laughs> relish, and spicy brown mustard. And just for heck of it, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing it. It's all good. We're going to try it. And then what we do is we take it and we start, start, start. And then we taste it. And then we try not to eat it all. It's good. Very, very good. I'm not just saying that. 
it is going to make up for the fact that they're not pretty. Because you cannot judge an egg by its cracked up, messed up, white, egg white. Mmm. <coughs> Yummy. And there you have it, y'all. I mean, I think that was a pretty good save, considering what we started with. Yeah. You agree, don't you, Bonnie? Thank you. Thank you. Your support is so appreciated. What are you doing? You must have found some leftovers. <laughs>